CEOs, entrepreneurs, high performers should consider hyperbaric oxygen therapy for this exact reason. Let me explain. You see, about six months ago, I made another video where I did 60 sessions of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up right here so you can go watch it later. Not only did it slow down my speed of aging and lengthen my telomeres, it also helped with all these other health metrics that I was tracking through blood work. And my buddy Sam, who you probably remember from the other video that I made, decided to open up a brand new hyperbaric center. And I was just thinking, this therapy could be really good for a specific demographic. And I wanna be clear, I'm not even talking about treating any type of medical condition or post-surgery or anything like that. This is strictly for performance, productivity, optimization, problem solving, and decision making. Obviously, this is a serious medical device. And in order to use it, you do have to be medically cleared. And if you have any pre-existing conditions, you absolutely should talk to your doctor. You shouldn't just go and do this necessarily without medical supervision. Like you, you wanna be cleared and all that stuff. But let's assume that everything's all good and you've been cleared to do it. I wanna talk to you about why I think this could be so powerful. This isn't medical advice. This is just something to consider. After all, I'm just a guy on YouTube who likes to do hyperbaric. Every high performer, entrepreneur, CEO knows that in order to get the most out of themselves, they have to maximize their physical and mental well-being. When they do that, they can perform better, they can make better decisions, they can just be best at whatever they're trying to be. That's why people like LeBron spend over a million dollars every year on their body. That's why Jeff Bezos got insanely jacked and even Elon Musk is now sleeping on an eight sleep. In fact, I believe that Elon actually does have a hyperbaric chamber in his garage. So whether it's in sports or business, a lot of your success comes down to the health and capacity of your physical body and your ability to make good decisions. So that's why things like cold plunging and saunas and red light therapy and sleep optimization, all this stuff that I talk a lot about on my channel have become so popular is because everyone is looking or an edge. And it's been really crazy for me to watch and be on the forefront of seeing millions of people around the world adopt these habits and lifestyle modifications and technology to try to make themselves better from a health perspective. But all these habits and technologies and things that people are doing is kind of where the problem inherently lies. All of those things are great and should be done and are gonna make a huge difference in your life. But there's only so much time in the day. And while you're doing all those things, you're not working on your business because you have to be active in participation with those things that you're doing to make yourself feel good. And then your whole day becomes a big morning routine. Let me know if that resonates. So hyperbaric is one of the only wellness activities that you can do while you do other things. It's passive healing and recovery and you're getting all the benefits while you're breathing in that oxygen and you can bring your laptop into the chamber. And this is made possible by the safety precautions and the way that the chamber is pressurized which Sam is gonna to explain to you right now. So at Beam Hyperbarics, we're pressurizing the chambers with ambient air. It's not a 100% oxygen environment. You are breathing pure oxygen through the mask. And when you pressurize a chamber with ambient air and you keep the oxygen percentage totally down in the surrounding air in the chamber, you mitigate that fire risk that could be caused by having technology in the space. And now I'm gonna get into the chamber and do a session for myself. And the best part about this process is that these sessions go anywhere from one hour to two hours. And that's the perfect amount of time for a deep work block. Because let's be real, in the modern world, it is very hard to get completely undistracted 90 minutes to two hours. And that is made easy while you're in the chamber. But this deep work cocoon is the perfect reason to not answer calls and respond to all the demands of the world. You can just move the needle on the thing that's most important to you. And you can even use it as an anchor that every time you get in the chamber, you work on the most important thing in your business. Imagine what could get done, how much further you could be in achieving what you're trying to achieve if you always had that dedicated space, the ability to just work on that one thing. Later, bro. Later, enjoy the dive.
that once you do it, you actually start to feel like you have more capacity even emotionally, which affects our overall ability to make decisions significantly. I mean, think of it when you're stressed out and you have to make all these hard decisions. It's very, very challenging. But if you have that clarity and you've got like this clean out, then things become much easier to just have a really good intentional focused outcome. One of the biggest things that I notice when I do hyperbarics is how much lighter I feel and how much clearer my mind is. My cognition is sharp and I can feel the space in my brain. When I'm working in the chamber, I can work longer, harder, and with more concentration. In business, your success comes down to your ability to think clearly and make good decisions. Here's what Jeff Bezos had to say about this. As a senior executive, you get paid to make a small number of high quality decisions. Your, your job is not to make thousands of decisions every day. Is that really worth it if the quality of those decisions might be lower because you're tired or grouchy or any number of things? If I make like three good decisions a day, that's enough. And they should just be as high quality as I can make them. And the difference in your quality of thought while you're in the chamber is much greater. Even if you were only to allocate this time to decision making and strategic planning, I think it could be a huge point of leverage because those thoughts could be the thing that unlocks what's stopping you from getting to the next level in your business. Just think about this. How often do you just consciously set aside 90 minutes to two hours to just think about your organization in the future of your company. Then layer on the cognitive boost that you get from doing a hyperbaric chamber session on top of that dedicated space and time for thinking about those things. So what happens is you get a hyper oxygenation of all of the, the plasma and the fluid in your body, which allows the oxygen to flow into areas that red blood cells normally wouldn't be able to access. So if you've got these tiny, tiny capillaries that go into all areas of your brain and really all of your body, but you're asking specifically about the brain, the red blood cells can't quite get there because the capillaries are so, so tiny that they don't quite make it. But with hyperbarics, now the oxygen is super saturated. It's, there's a high concentration of oxygen in the plasma. And so you're getting oxygen into these areas of the brain and into these tiny, tiny vessels that normally aren't there. And what that does is it actually starts to increase and vasodilate the capillaries there, which then allows for more oxygen in that moment, but longer term, you're physically opening up these capillaries for longer term oxygenation and those red blood cells to finally start to get into, into the brain in those areas that they weren't before. The third thing to consider about hyperbarics is it's going to help every other health intervention that you're trying to do to improve your mind and your body. So one of the things that I noticed when I was doing my 60 session protocol is that I was sleeping much better, I was recovering from injuries faster. I was PRing in the gym every day. My energy was really good. And I was doing things that I wasn't able to do before in a time frame that was never possible to me before. Even if I didn't go through any health stuff and I wasn't trying to necessarily recover from anything, if I was just optimizing, if I was just trying to feel as good as I can, I realized that if I continue to do hyperbarics, it's gonna help everything else that I'm trying to do. So yes, hyperbarics is expensive. The price can range anywhere between $150 to $300 a session, depending on how many you buy and where you go to purchase it. However, when I make videos like this, I know I'm opening up the market and I'm bringing more awareness to this technology. And I'm hoping that as more people become aware and the demand goes up, prices will come down. But I'm also looking at it from the perspective of comparing it to massages or doing a cryo session or doing a float tank. And if you do a nice massage, it's gonna run you around the same ballpark. And so this is beautiful because you get the benefit and you get the productivity at the same time. And no, Sam didn't pay me to make this video. I just wanted to make it and showcase his new facility to support him because he was there for me through everything that I've been through and he's a dear friend. So if you're ever in Austin, Texas, go check out Beam Hyperbarics and he'll take care of you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in this next video right here. I know you're gonna love it. Take care and be well.